In today's Fuel Your Fire segment, we're going to discuss values and how important they are to your leadership in your organization. With me today is Dale Beeman of Beeman Coaching, and we are so happy to have you here, Dale. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much, Snowden. I'm so inspired by your work, and I'm uh, so glad to be here and share a little bit about mine. Well, so let's talk a little bit about your background, because I know you have significant corporate experience. Yes. So what is that? Well, I sort of grew up in the corporate environment. Um, it was primarily in healthcare. And um, in fact, I spent um, 18 years here locally with wow. Florida Blue. Okay. And was involved in leading a lot of different projects. And I knew when I was doing well as a leader, when I was not, and mm -hmm. when I watched other leaders, and also really a focus was on teams. I led a lot of teams, and I knew when it was working and when it was not. It was just terrific learning ground for me. Yes, okay. And so that led you, when did you leave to start your own coaching business? I left back in 2002. Okay. And I left, um, I was really inspired that I'd been on my own journey of, of self-discovery, and I was also on a journey Journey to really help teams function better, leaders function better. And I said, you know, I was talking to one of the organizational development folks and I said, you know, I want to do what you do. And he said to me, Dale, you already do what I do. It's just that you're <laughs> on the business side because I was always right. developing products and services um, to bring something new forward. In fact, that's what excites me. So I know that values education and values training and assisting leaders with their values is a very important part of your work. You get yeah. very fired up about that. I do. <laughs> so talk more about that. So I think it's really important to help leaders, but help us all to be able to what I call live and lead from the core. And it's about uh, personal leadership for anyone. And then when you're talking about a business or a corporation or a nonprofit, it's about leading from the core, finding your unique identity. The core is really around core values and your unique purpose in the world. And how do people discover, you know, I do some of this work too, and how do people discover what their values are? I love the, work, the word that you use, discover, uh -huh. because a lot of times people will try to go to aspirational values, mm. which is something I want to be versus I am. Right. So we really want to get to the core because what we know is really where our goodness, our seeds of potential are. So a couple of ways to discover that. At one is to look at where am I but my very best self? Mm. And what are the behaviors that I'm doing that are my best self? Mm. Another really fun way to do it is to maybe identify five or six leaders that you admire living or, or, or not and look at what are their best qualities that you're drawn to and just know you spot it, you got it. Right, which I love. You know, I, I've done a visualization exercise where people sit down with people throughout history yes. who've inspired them and what are the qualities that they have and then it gets reflected back to them that they have the very same qualities. Isn't so. that true? Yeah. And, you know, I, I talk about them as seeds of potential because you actually grow into your values more and more when you look at what are the behaviors. Right. And some ways to know whether it's right is to ask yourself, is this value really me? Right. Uh, is this who I am when I'm at my best? Does it help me make the hard decisions? Is it a good filter for me? Well, and I think that's so important because I work with a lot of CEOs and yeah. it often comes down to the decision of where we're going to go forward or not is a value-based decision. Yeah. And the vision and the mission of the company aligning with those values and is this next step going to align with those? So I assume that's part of what you do as well. So true. And one just great example around that is the Tylenol story. Yes. And it, it was back in the 80s, so some right. may not remember that, but it was so powerful because in Tylenol they found cyanide and people died. Right. And just before that happened, the CEO had been going around to their offices and sharing the credo, which included their purpose and their mm. values. And as the result of that, they made the hard decision to put customers first and providers first. As a result, well, they lost a lot of market share initially, but they gained almost all of it back. They changed the industry around safety caps. So it just shows the power when we're living our values, certainly at a corporate level, but take it all the way down to a personal level. And they also really, I mean, use that as an opportunity to 
be of service to the public yes. and so they exemplified those values absolutely yeah. so what would you say to a leader a woman who's watching this show who wants to think about how to express their values more strongly as a leader so to express first of all it, it goes back to i call it activation right and activation only happens with that discovery process and then to be trying them on and it's a, initially it's a very reflective process mm -hmm. to really check in with yourself. Is this truly me? Mm -hmm. And so, so every day it's asking yourself, you know, even at the end of the day, how did I live these values today? How do I want to live them more tomorrow? And one way to know is that, you know, am I feeling fulfilled? Am I feeling that, um, Am I feeling at the end of the day that I've done my best? It's a good way to know. And I think when you're off value, your stomach drops. You know that you're way out of alignment. You know it. And also you get that what's called the resentment flu. Right. Yeah. So how can people reach you to work with you? Great. Um, so you can reach me through my website, which is beamancoaching.com. And of course, I work from a coaching perspective, but also working to develop high-performing teams and building thriving cultures. Thanks so much for being with us, Dale. We so appreciate it. Coming up next is our Success Sparks, where you'll learn how you could have your own biography written. <laughs>